I am a big fan of all things Dutch, in particular their cheese. But now I think I have a new favourite Dutch thing, Fastnet chargers. And today I'm going to show you why they're great and how to use them. But before I do, if you're into electric cars, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe to get notifications of all our latest videos and do head over to electrifying.com, which is full of handy explainers like this, along with reviews and all the latest news. Fastnet might be a new name here in the UK, but it's actually one of the biggest rapid charging networks in Europe and it's expanding out of its native Holland, well, just about everywhere really. You can spot them by their distinctive solar canopies. Now they provide a welcome cover from the elements, which is something we really like. It's also well lit here and it just feels safe, which again is a big plus point in my book. The company's 12th and latest hub is at Energy Superhub Oxford, where you can currently find fast and ultra rapid charging for 42 cars at once, all powered entirely by renewable energy. But of course, we're here to take a look at the Fastnet chargers. Now, there are five of them, and each of them, as you can see, has got two connectors capable of, yes, yeah, so you've guessed it, charging 10 cars at once. Now, there are chargers here on site that you would use if you were planning to stay for several hours to shop or go sightseeing in Oxford, but these ones are ultra fast and are there if you need to charge up super quickly, which means they do come with a time limit of how long you can use them of 45 minutes. Now, that's not a problem if you're in a car like my Audi Q4 e-tron, which has a maximum charging rate of 120 kilowatts. But if you're driving something like a Kia EV6 or a Porsche Taycan or a Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is capable of charging at a much faster rate, then it could slow things down. These shared chargers are easily visible as they have two parking spots. If you're passing through and won't use Fastnet often, you can just pay using contactless. I'm going to show you how to do that first and then I'll show you a clever trick that these chargers can do for regular users. So I've found my charger and I've parked up. Now, don't plug the connector into the car before you go through the payment steps, otherwise it will get ever so confused. Hold your contactless card, watch or mobile against the payment terminal and wait for it to accept the transaction. But be warned, it will take a £40 reservation from the account, which will get cancelled after your session ends. It then takes a few seconds to verify the card and off you go. I can now select the connector that I need from the buttons just underneath the charging screen. It'll be CCS please. And then all I have to do is plug the connector into the car. If your contactless isn't working for whatever reason, you can either pay through the app or scan the QR code to enter your credit card details directly into the payment website. Currently, the price for Fastnet charges like this is 54 pence per kilowatt hour, which is on the higher side of reasonable. You can bring the cost down by subscribing though, by becoming a gold member, which yes, I know sounds like something from Austin Powers, but if you stump up 9.99 a month, then the charging is discounted to 35 pence per kilowatt hour. Now, according to my sums, you will start saving if you top up with more than 53 kilowatt hours per month. Now that is just one charge up to 80% in my Audi. So that is definitely worth considering if you don't have access to home charging and will need to use the more expensive public charging network to run your car. So when you're done, all you need to do is press stop. Disconnect the plug. Connect your charger. This does away with the need for card swiping and it means that your car will start charging as soon as you plug it in, a bit like Teslas do. To set it up, you need to link your payment card to the Fastnet app. Then follow the setup steps and add your car and its registration number. Then you go to your vehicle's details and activate auto charge. Next time you plug in your car, the charger will automatically talk to it and after about 15 seconds, it will start charging. And you can keep an eye on what's going on by looking at the app. But there is a fly in the auto charge ointment. Every car needs to generate a unique code and speak the same language as the chargers. And some cars aren't compatible. Now that includes, wait for it, all Volkswagens, the Cupra Born, the Seat Me, all Skodas, the Mazda MX-30 and the Maxus e-deliver van. Unfortunately, it also includes some Audis, including my Q4 e-tron. 
Oh well, looks like I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way and get my card out. Maybe we can go Dutch? <laughs> <laughs>